Hi, ArcfieldWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday morning, February the 12th. We have a potent storm system coming to the Mid-Atlantic region, the Northeast U.S. Looks like it will produce a lot of rainfall initially, uh, later on this evening into the overnight hours, and then a change to accumulating snow for the northern Mid-Atlantic, the Northeast U.S., uh, probably the bullseye region, central Pennsylvania mountains, places like State College across northeastern PA, uh, the Poconos, Scranton, Wilkes-Barre area, then all the way east-northeast across the southern part of New England, including the Boston metro region. New York City uh, could end up with an all-out snowstorm here with six-plus inches of snow. Uh, southeastern Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, including the Philly metro area, certainly on the table for some accumulating snow tomorrow morning. And unfortunately, it looks like the timing will be uh, that it could have a, a big impact on the morning commute in places like Philadelphia and New York City. Certainly, certainly the latter half of the morning commute on Tuesday. Even the northwest suburbs of D.C. can get a coating to an inch or two. And in all areas, sleet will be uh, a part of the package here as well, late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Let's get into the details of fluid situation. I urge you to stay tuned to arcfieldweather.com later on today for an update. No doubt the overnight model runs tended to shift to the south and east with the heaviest snow axis. Again, that puts New York City on the table for an all-out snowstorm and a more snowfall uh, here in the southeastern part of Pennsylvania than might have been anticipated a day or two ago. This is the forecast map of uh, t total snowfall amounts from last night's high resolution model run this is the 6e hrrr uh, model it's known as the rapid refresh model here and i think it has a pretty good overall handle on the situation again this is the total snowfall map for the upcoming storm system with again the uh, bullseye region really from the central pennsylvania mountains across northeastern pa and that very well indeed could be the bullseye region with a foot or more in those higher elevations of northeastern PA, then significant snow up across uh, interior New York State. And again, New York City is uh, certainly right on the edge of an all out snowstorm here. By that, I mean six plus inches of snow cutting across uh, southern New England all the way uh, to the coastline of Massachusetts, southeastern part of Maine, also significant snow. But if you're upstate Maine, uh, it looks like you'll escape. For the most part now the the history of this storm it has produced significant snow all the way back into the panhandle region of texas and either this has occurred already or uh, about to occur all the way in this area so really a pretty uh, pretty uh, decent path here to the east northeast for the track of the snow associated with this uh, system here and again on its way to the mid-atlantic region and the northeast u.s well, let's take a look here at the uh, National Weather Service forecast in terms of the weather warnings uh, just to post all the variability here with uh, lots of different colors showing up here. This is coming out of the Philadelphia office, which is really located in Mount Holly, New Jersey. All the pink area here, winter storm warnings, heavy snow uh, within 24 hours. The blue winter storm watches out across Harrisburg, for example. Now, the purple right here, winter weather advisories in Montgomery County and the lower part of Bucks County here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, the upper part of Bucks County in a, uh, a, a winter storm warning area. Now, I do believe this whole area should be in a winter uh, weather advisory uh, would not be surprised at all if the national weather service increases uh, the, the warning in this particular part of pennsylvania all the way from south central into the southeastern part this is chester county by the way national weather service now in the southeastern part of pennsylvania uh, responsible for the forecast in the philly metro region divide chester county into the western part of chester county uh, where they have a kind of a hazardous weather outlook right now in the eastern part of Chester County. Similarly, Bucks County is separated from upper to lower. Now, the general sentiment here, I agree with that uh, there may be a decent range of snowfall in southeastern P PA. Right now, I'm thinking two to five inches with two in uh, maybe the lower part of Chester County and five 
all the way up in the upper part of Bucks County. Can that change? Absolutely. Stay tuned to arcfieldweather.com. Even in the uh, Washington, D.C., Baltimore metro region, there will be colder air advancing from the northwest and southeast late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Certainly can be some sleet and some snow, maybe a coating to an inch or two in the northern western suburbs of D.C. early tomorrow morning. And again, uh, the heaviest snow, likely uh, central PA, across northeastern PA, PA, and even New York City can end up getting in the winter storm warning uh, categorization here later on today with six plus inches possible in New York City. Now, before we take a look at the surface forecast maps, again, using a high-resolution model known as the HRRR, I wanted to take a look here at the 850 millibar level. This is one of the key features that I always t uh, like to take a look at in terms of where the rain and snow uh, boundary zone may set up. This is from last night's Zero Z run of the NAM model, uh, the 12-kilometer version of the NAM model. We're beginning here with Monday evening. This is the Monday evening forecast map from last night's uh, operational run of the NAM model. Now, let's just put, push forward here. And what we're looking at here is the 850 millibar, a couple thousand feet off the uh, ground level here uh, by uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And this region right here, this is really the center of what I call that uh, 850 millibar low right in this region. I like to look at uh, the, the track of the 850 millibar low and tend to put the best snows, maybe 50 to 100 miles north of that uh, track of the 850 millibar low and north of there. And that puts this whole area, maybe even in the northern Maryland, on the table here for some accumulating snow, certainly across, uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, south central PA and southeastern PA, I think absolutely should be winter weather advisory at a minimum here uh, again well to the north of that 850 millibar low. That's really where the cold air can advect later on tonight into tomorrow morning with that changeover. A DC metro, not so much. This 850 millibar low kind of moves right overhead. Again, I like to focus in on this particular area. And of course, north of here will be cold enough for snow. Let's uh, uh, just move forward a little bit here in time. And you see the track of that 850 millibar low basically east-northeast here uh, to off the coast. This is now by mid-morning on Tuesday. A very dynamic storm system. Lots of what we call vorticity in the upper part of the atmosphere, frontogenetic forcing as well. And whenever you hear the, the phrase dynamic forcing, uh, that uh, can result in heavy snow bands. And that is a real fear for tomorrow morning, right around rush hour, right around... Uh, let's say uh, Philadelphia metro region, New York City metro region, certainly the latter part of the AM commute can be impacted by some heavy snow. Now, temperatures, boundary layer temperatures will be marginal, maybe 32, 33, 34 degrees across this area, southeastern PA to New York City, uh, even down in D.C., probably uh, 35 degrees or so in those northern suburbs. But could snow hard enough that it starts sticking on the roadways during that commute time, certainly the latter part uh, of the commute time, let's say 7, 8, 9 a.m., uh, even though temperatures may be 33, 34 degrees, you can have problems on the roadways and combine that with the likelihood of sleet. Uh, at the uh, initial part of that changeover from rain to snow, sleet is very likely here and uh, that certainly can fall on the roadways and cause some slippery conditions. So watching out for the potential of uh, uh, problems in the Tuesday morning commute, certainly southeastern PA, up across central northern New Jersey, into this New York City metro region. Now let's walk through the surface forecast maps from the 6Z run of the high resolution model here. This goes on an hourly basis. We're starting with midday today. And then, uh, several things I want to point out here as we progress through these maps. First of all, 
absolutely war uh, too too warm for anything but rain in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City at the onset of this storm system. This is now right around midnight tonight as that surface low. Now, this is the surface low moving into West Virginia at this particular time. Then we go out a few hours, and I just want to point out this time. Now, this is all the way out to late tonight. Uh, we're talking about 4 a.m. in the wee hours of the morning. Now, first of all, you have a southeasterly flow fetch of air right here at this particular stage late tonight. So this is increasing the chances for coastal flooding right here across New Jersey here with that southeasterly flow and it uh, absolutely will keep it too warm for uh, anything but rain across New Jersey and even southeastern PA, New York City, all the way down to DC at this particular hour. But watch out for coastal flooding with the southeasterly winds uh, later on tonight across uh, the coastal part of New Jersey as an example. Now, let's keep moving forward here. Here we go now. Uh, this is the uh, 5 a.m. forecast map. Notice purple showing up here. That is a band of sleet. So again, sleet can certainly mix into the picture here right in time for the morning commute. This is about 6 a.m. Uh, this changeover time really from about let's say 5 a.m. to about 8 a.m. across uh, this whole I-95 corridor region right in time with the Tuesday morning commute and notice some of the darker blue bands here again a dynamic storm system heavy snow bands likely to set up here maybe even some thunder snow across uh, portions of uh, south central Pennsylvania uh, northeastern Pennsylvania as well we'll go out a little farther in time all this translates slowly to the south and east, and here's that surface low. Now notice the wind flow starting to change here, more out of the east to northeast here. Remember a video made last week, I mentioned sea surface temperatures this time of the year are, are quite cold. They uh, tend to bottom out the latter part of February into the early part of March, right in this part of the western Atlantic, and indeed that will play a role here uh, in that the winds will become northeast. Uh, uh, causing that change over to snow and again this is a potentially some bursts of heavy snow down across southeastern Pennsylvania maybe 8 9 a.m. tomorrow morning and certainly the northern suburbs of DC the northwest suburbs of DC can get in on some snow and sleet maybe even a coating to a half inch or an inch or so uh, well to the north and west of the metro region Baltimore as well coating to an inch or two and again right now I'm thinking maybe in the two to five inch range across the Philadelphia metro region with the two inch, the lower uh, snowfall mounts down across the southern sections of southeastern PA, let's say southern Chester County, perhaps as much as five inches or so, upper Bucks County. And similarly, uh, in New York City, there can be some bands of heavy snow tomorrow morning. I'm thinking uh, maybe uh, a four to eight inches right now in and around the New York City metro region. Again, that uh, a bullseye of the snow will extend all the way into eastern part of New England, southern part of Maine. Boston gets in on the action. And by the way, in this whole bullseye area, uh, certainly can be embedded areas with a foot or, a foot or more of snow. It tends to wind down here uh, by uh, midday, early afternoon tomorrow in that I-95 Carter region. And the winds will really pick up in intensity and noticeable uh, later on tonight through the day tomorrow switching ultimately to a north to northwest direction during the day on uh, Tuesday. Quite breezy indeed. And then you start to see some snow bands uh, setting up here just downstream of the Great Lakes lake effect type snows here as uh, the, the, the air crosses those still relatively warm waters of the Great Lakes. So a snowstorm coming for much of the northern mid-Atlantic region in the northeast U.S. for late tonight, especially Tuesday morning, it certainly can have an impact in the Philly, New York City uh, uh, commute times Tuesday morning. Even down to D.C. and Baltimore, there can be a coating to an inch or so north and west of those metro areas. Stay tuned for updates later today. A dynamic situation here. Uh, again, stay tuned for a, an update posted to arcfieldweather.com later today. For now, that's it. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.